Hey, hey, good morning. Did you guys see? You got to see this. Let me put this on here real quick here. Open sea falls prey to NFT phishing attack. Ethereum, Shiba, Dodge, um, slightly up, but the point is right here. Read right here. Open sea. Oops. One of the world's largest non-fungible token marketplaces suffered a massive phishing attack on Sunday night. That's last night. Resulting in stealing of NFTs worth approximately 1.7 million. 1.7 million. It was not a big deal. If you read later in the article, it talks about 32 people got hit. Um, yeah, 32 victims. Not a big deal in the in 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 the consideration of of uh, phishing attacks and scams and 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 everything that happens in the world of crypto and NFTs. But here is the interesting thing. Open C. OpenSea, number one exchange in the world. This is when things matter about licensing. Uh, I keep, uh, I've been talking about the NFT exchange world and the importance, the importance of working with an NFT exchange that has been approved and licensed by the U.S. government. I say this because the world is going to switch and move and evolve. It's already been switching to blockchain and crypto. You guys, heard the, the crypto buzz is out there. The NFT buzz is out there, but right now they're only focused on uh, NFTs like pieces of art, okay? But you gotta remember an NFT is a digital proof of ownership of something unique. Now just wait, wait till this gets into real estate, gas and oil. Um, intellectual property. Just uh, there's so much that's 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 con uh, of business transactions of ownership of rights and properties and leasing and all this stuff. The world it revolves trillions of dollars around ownership, and this will shift to NFT technology. I guarantee it. I promise. I bet my life on this. Okay. Now whether it takes two years, five years, ten years, it'll it'll take some time. It will, but. Back to the whole point of this conversation here is OpenSea got hacked. A real simple hack. Stole a few million. 32 victims. Uh, 1.7 million. Not a big deal. Okay, but it is a big deal. It's a massive deal because OpenSea does not have a U.S. license uh, issued, uh, issued from the U.S. government. It doesn't. The, the, the NFT exchange that we, working, that we are working with absolutely does. Took them five years. <laughs> Long time, took him a year, years of uh, of due diligence and history uh, and and working with the U.S. government and the SEC and FINRA and all these different entities. I am, you know, uh, from my personal experience, I am all about regulation. Um, I'd rather have it so that we know the boundaries of what we can work within. But when it comes to this, the wild, wild west, there is going to be scams. There's going to be hacks. There's going to be phishing. There's going to be all these kinds of problems. And the sooner that we can work within the guidelines and have oversight and protection, that's what I'm thinking about is protection for the average person. The moment we can have that, uh, it'll be a massive adoption going towards that once there is protection and security in there. Okay? So just wanted to remind you guys the importance of understanding NFT technology and the exchanges that you work within. Because guess what? This happened. What do you, what's going to happen to these people that lost 1.7M? We'll find out. We'll see in the news. But what's going to happen if it were uh, to take place within uh, an oversight of a regulator that can uh, enforce penalties, measures, enforce tracking it down, and all that, it'd be a different game. So, quick little plug for my, my friends over at Upstream. We are working with them. We have a, a relationship. We have a contract. It's exciting. I believe that the NFTs are going to be the future and that you need to understand who you're working with, what kind of exchange, what kind of oversight, what are your um, liabilities, and it's, it's going to be a blast here for the next few years. Anyways, shout out to my family. You guys, stay educated. Talk to you guys later.